Hey, Jason Starr here, and the topic of today's video is how to break into writing comics. And this is a question I get very frequently on Twitter. I get a lot of direct messages on it through my website, jasonstar.com. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, people want to know how do you break into the uh, comic book uh, industry. Um, I got one note recently from... Um, a guy who said he wants to uh, uh, work uh, in comic books, and I said, "So what? What kind of? What do you do? Are you an artist or you're a writer?" And he said he's never written anything and he's never drawn anything. So I assume that if you want to get into the comic business, that um, you've been working on whatever you feel you have a talent in it, talent is in, whether it's art or in, or in writing, and you've been working on it and you want to break in. Um, the thing about comics, and this is uh, my experience, but it's, an ex it's the experience I feel of everyone who works in comics, there's really no direct route to get into writing comics. Um, a lot of writers I know, crime writers like um, Victor Gishler, Dwayne Swarzynski, um, Greg Hurwitz, uh, and myself got into it through writing uh, crime novels and crime fiction, and then um, through that uh, wound up in the writing comics. Um, in my own experience, I wrote an introduction for Brian Azzarello's 100 Bullets, and then um, an editor at DC asked me if I wanted to uh, pitch an idea for a series at Vertigo, and then I wound up doing that. I wound up doing some other work for DC, and in a similar way, I wound up um, uh, writing for Marvel and uh, then doing some of my original graphic novels. So for me, it was my um, crime writing was the uh, entree into writing for comics. But if you're not uh, a novelist and you just want to go right into writing comics, um, I feel it's something you have to uh, be doing. Now, it's either you're doing indie comics um, you're writing scripts and you're and you're uh, trying to hook up with um, editors or artists. Um, I, I I personally believe that it's best to actually create something. So I think you know if you go to a comic con and you meet uh, if you're a writer and you can meet an artist there and you guys could team up and work on something and create something, even if it's a short comic and have something online that you could show potential editors. That's great. Um, there's also, obviously, you know, at Comic-Cons, you could, uh, there are talent searches that go on where you could um, try to meet editors uh, that way. But the important thing is to be doing it. I mean, like the person who wrote to me, you can't just, this isn't something you could do in the abstract and just say, oh, I want to work in comics and then never do it. So I would um, get, get a book like uh, Understanding Comics um, is a great one by St Scott McCloud. I would learn about the writing of comics. If you want to uh, be an artist, I would start taking some classes. Um, and I would actually start, uh, obviously, learning how scripts are written, if you're, if you're going to be a writer, but also um, actually writing, work on writing your uh, a comic script. Maybe, um, maybe the first thing you could do is try to, uh, you know, you, you write a script starring your favorite superhero, just a sort of spec script that you'd have to show uh, a potential editor. So anyway, that's that's the best way to get into the industry is to uh, actually create stuff. I would um, definitely try to meet an artist, or if you're an artist, try to meet a writer, uh, create something, have something you could show as sort of your calling card into the industry. And again, there's, there's really no set way of doing this. I know um, writers and artists who have gotten involved in comics um, just about every possible way. So it's something that you that requires a lot of networking, going to conferences, meeting people, meeting people on, online. But there's no direct, uh, simple way of doing it except actually working on your craft. And I believe that good work is always ultimately discovered. So like my video, uh, recommend me, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be back with more soon.